guys, hope it's all going well. Sorry it has been a while since I uploaded a video. Seems like forever since I last did any filming, but um, with the uh, long weekends, etc. that's been going on, I've obviously been very busy, so. But I am back now, and I'm only a week late with my March favourites, so that's good. It could have been a lot worse, I sort of think, so. Uh, I will get straight into it. I have some... Please ignore the curtains in the background. Uh, I have some relatively new products that I've purchased which have actually, as soon as I bought them and started using them, I just fell in love with them. They've just been fantastic. Uh, so I've got two eyeshadow palettes, two mascaras, two lip products, three cheek products, a perfume and a nail polish and they're all fantastic. So I will start with the face products. I have uh, been because it's now gone into autumn and it's a bit, um, it's starting to cool off a little bit, which we're almost in the teens. We got to 20 degrees for our low the last week, the last day, so we're getting there slowly. Uh, but I have been actually wearing a bit more foundation and therefore I've been putting on some, using blushes a lot. And I recently had purchased the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Peaceful. And it, I just absolutely love this colour. It's... Uh, sheer enough that you only need a very light flush of colour, but uh, you can build it up when you need it. So if you've, uh, say, got a very uh, heavy, thick foundation and you need a bit, need a bit more colour uh, to bring back, you know, a natural flush, this colour is perfect. Um, it is a, it's a matte to satin finish, which I really, really like. So it still gives uh, a little bit of a glow, but uh, it's not too much so that for oily skin it doesn't look like you're sweating your um, foundation, uh, your makeup off. So it's this beautiful peachy pink colour, just lovely. And then I've also been really getting into sort of liquid highlighters, which I've never really been a fan of them. Um, I always thought that they would make me look really, if not oily, then just unnaturally shiny. But uh, I've been using from my Benefit Beauty Kits, which I'll put the um, video up here from them, but uh, the little, uh, what are they, sample sizes of uh, Moonbeam and Girl Meets Pearl, and I've been using these actually together, so I mix them around a bit because Girl Meets Pearl is a bit more of a cooler toned highlighter, and Moonbeam is a warmer toned, and I mix them together and it just brings this beautiful neutral, uh, it's got a multi-dimension uh, feel to it, so these things here are fantastic and when I run out of all my minis I have no doubt that I will be buying these in full size because I have been using them a lot. Uh, on to lip products. Uh, again, because it's coming into autumn, well we are in autumn now but it's only just now starting to cool off, but uh, I've been starting to wear a bit more of my richer colours, so I've been starting to wear more browns, um, deep burgundies etc for my lips and one of my favorite browns was only I think this was like two dollars and it was a wet and wild silk finished lipstick that I got from Beauty Bo Joint and uh, it is the 506 B color it doesn't actually say what the name of it was but uh, it's just a beautiful rich mocha chocolate brown and the pigmentation on these is just fantastic. So that's one, one swipe there. Uh, in terms of, they're not um, hugely long lasting, so you do have to touch these up, but at $2 each, uh, they're not, um, uh, you're not exactly going to be worried about wasting a lot of product all day. And in terms of their feel, uh, because I have naturally fairly moisturized um, lips, they don't dry me out. Uh, and they tend to look moisturized through the day. Now, I don't know how these would go with a, um, uh, a, dry tone, a dry skinned person, but just due to their name, Silk Finish, I have a tendency to think that they will keep even dry skins moisturized. So, highly recommend these. At $2 each, you can't go wrong. They have a wide range of colors. But yeah, the brown has definitely been, been my favorite for this month. And then on those days when I'm not really wanting a stronger lip, uh, say I've done my eyes stronger, I've really been loving my full size Benetint from Benefit. And I only got this probably a month and a half ago. Uh, it didn't come in any of the beauty kits, I actually bought this separately. 
but I just love the uh, the flush of colour that you get, this light berry pink colour and it is just beautiful. Uh, and it's not, again it doesn't last forever but you put a couple coats on and it's, it's just a pu perfect uh, wash of colour basically. So let's sit up there and uh, so you let that dry. Now you can use this as a cheek tint as well. I don't generally because I've got enough, I, I prefer powder blushes uh, to liquid. I find that I can't get this to um, uh, blend across on my cheeks fast enough before it dries. So, Okay, on to eye stuff. I have two eyeshadow palettes and again you'll hear, keep talk, hear me talking about autumn so I've started to move into those um, the richer autumn colours. Uh, so I've really been uh, mixing two particular palettes together, my Meat Matte Nude palette and my Skylark palette from Ellen Blair, so the Snow, bleh, Snow Kissed Cashmere palette. And uh, basically what I've been doing is my Meat Matte Nude palette, I've been using as sort of the blending colours, the... Uh, uh, sort of the setting colours I call them, so they're not accent colours, they're just to fill in the rest of the eye, eye area. And then for my accent colours, so my lid, I've been using the Skylark palette. And particularly uh, Nutmeg, which is this colour up here, and Ember. So these two colours here make fantastic accent colours on my lid. And the reason why I prefer Nutmeg over Pinecone is Pinecone is a much warmer um, warmer brown where the nutmeg it has a bit more purpley undertones and I really really love that in autumn so yes so that palette combined with my Meat Matte New together has been thoroughly enjoying that through the last month Whee! and then for my eyelashes uh, I recently got a whole bunch of mascaras through a Sephora favorite slash stash box. Um, I got it really really cheap and I've been doing a lot of layering with my mascaras and I found one uh, sort of combination which really works for me. Like most of them I can get to work pretty well but this one just it just makes my eyelashes just go boom. I look like I have falsies. So I start off layering with my Clinique High Impact Mascara uh, and they're, they're all in black. But it's just a, a Dulux sample size. And that one basically volumizes my mascara, uh, my lashes, and it puts a fairly heavy coat of uh, thickening. It's a, it's a bit more of a drier mascara, um, mascara formula. And then over the top of that, I put the DJV Butanizer Fiber Wig LX. And I don't actually know anything about this company, but I was using the, this, uh, this mascara. And I love it. It is so it's a quite a wet, wet runny mascara formula, but uh, it's got a curling brush, and it just fits my eye shape perfectly. And so I just flick it on a couple times over the top of the Clinique mascara, and it's incredible what it does with their lashes, which have already been coated by another mascara. It's like it adds uh, so much more volume, but it also adds length. So. These two together have been working very well on my lashes. Then in terms of a nail product, I got myself uh, a few months ago now, but it was an OPI colour Into the Night. And uh, the reason why I got this one was it was on sale, uh, which normally they're $20 each in Australia, which is rather pricey, but this one was being chucked out for, oh, I think it was only $12 or something, so it was a pretty good deal. And uh, it is this beautiful, rich, dark purple blue. Uh, and I have it on my nails, but I've layered another glitter, glitter color over the top, so it's not a true representation of what the color is. But uh, it's, I was a bit surprised when I first tried it. I thought, oh, it'll be a one swipe color, but um, you actually have to put about three coats on. The first two coats are usually pretty sheer but it's just a beautiful colour. It's not overly um, iridescent, so basically the colour you put on is what it comes out as. But yes, so that is Into the Night. Pretty! And finally, the perfume is uh, 
Again, I've had this had this for a while, but um, I don't generally use this as an everyday perfume because it is quite expensive and it's also a bit rich for summer, so I don't tend to use it all that much, but it is my Gucci Guilty. And this is the Eau de Toilette. I do want to get myself the Eau de Parfum, which is the Guilty Intense sometimes, but again, because it's expensive, you've got to save up for it, etc. Uh, I'm not going to try and explain what it smells like because I am terrible at trying to describe perfumes. But uh, needless to say, it is. It's very. It's a very sophisticated scent, but it's quite exotic, uh, and it, it's it's very warm and rich. Uh, so it's not it's not a florally fruity, girly scent sort of thing. It's it's definitely one that uh, makes you stop and think. Oh, that's there's a, there's a bit of depth there. It's not not um light and fun. So. I love this. It is beautiful. I will probably always have one of these. I think they're just fantastic. And they're beautiful for autumn because it's a nice warm, warm scent. And that pretty much does it for this month. I hope that I manage to get April's favourites next month pretty well on time as opposed to a week late. But oh, I figure better late, um, it's better late than never. So yes, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, as always, please ask. Please subscribe. Thank you, and I'll catch you next time. See ya!